Hello everyone, this is Poonam Kaur, Assistant Professor, Government First Grade College, Bagipalli. Today we will be discussing a subject called Consumer Behaviour, which is for BBA 5th semester, Bengaluru North University. So we will be discussing the 4th chapter topic. Uh, the 4th chapter is Consumer's Decision Making Process. And the topic for our today's discussion is Models of Consumer Behaviour. And in that Models of Consumer Behaviour, we will be discussing today Howard Sheth model of buying behavior. So exactly we, before starting the today's topic, let us first recap uh, what we have discussed in our previous class. So in the previous class, we had discussed the categories of adopters and non-adopters. So we have seen what are the different types of adopters and who are called as non-adopters and how these categories of adopters has came into picture. Then, the learning objectives of the chapter, the objective of this chapter is to provide an outstanding, of, sorry, an understanding of consumer's decision making process. So, how the consumer makes the decision and what are the different steps comes under this decision making process, we will be learning in this chapter. Session outcomes. The students will be able to explain Howard Sheth model of buying behavior. So what is this Howard Sheth model of buying behavior we will be seeing in this class. Now, Howard Sheth model of buying behavior. So it attempts to throw light on the rational brand behavior shown by buyers when faced with situations involving incomplete information and limited abilities. So this one particular model explains us how this rational brand behavior prevails in the market and how the buyers face the situations where some incomplete information and very limited abilities have been projected. So the model refers to three levels of decision making. Under this model, we uh, consider three different levels of decision making. The first comes extensive problem solving where in detail the more concentration will be given on problem solving. How we can solve the problem? There would be an extensive work on that. Next comes limited problem solving. So we are going to uh, solve only a particular limited uh, version of the problem and we will be concentrating on that limited version. How we need to solve that problem? This is second level of decision making. And then comes the routinized response behavior. Like what is this routine structure taking place and how the people are responding to this routine structure, routine behavior. This, this is also one of the level in decision making under this model. The model has borrowed the learning theory concepts to explain brand choice behavior when learning takes place. As the buyer moves from extensive to routinized problem uh, solving behavior. So here, this model has also inculcated the theory of learning where there are different learning theory concepts which is also considered under the this theory which explains brand choice behavior, how the brands have been selected and what kind of behavior prevails while selecting this brand. This, uh, he, it also considers places as the buyer moves from extensive to routinized problem solving behavior. Like from extensive problem solving to routinized problem solving, how the buyers are shifting. This is explained under this model. The model makes significant contribution to understand consumer behavior by identifying the variables which influences the consumers. So here under this model, it has identified some variables like those variables will be influencing the consumer's behavior and how this variables are influencing consumers to take decision. This model is been uh, uh, based on four important components which are involved under this model. The first is input variables, then output variables, after that hypothetic variables and lastly exogenous variables. So these are the four important components or we can call it as variables under Howard Sheth model. 
Now, we will be learning in detail about these variables. Let us see first variable. Before exactly going to first variable, let us see a pictorial uh, representation of this entire model and what are the different variables involved under this model. So, Howard Schiff model of buying behavior explains the four important variables. They are input variable that is first input stimulus display and in this input stimulus display we will be having significative symbolic and social variables under this significative we have again quality price distinctiveness service availability then under symbolic variables we have quality price and then uh, distinctiveness service and availability and in the social variables we have family reference groups social classes and all so in our previous sessions we have already discussed in detail what are these reference groups how family is taking place uh, i mean how family is influencing consumer behavior then what is the social class and what are the different types of social classes what are the different uh, kinds of social classes prevailing and how they influence the consumers buying behavior we have seen in a previous class now these all variables are here considered as input variables under this model then these input variables are again uh, followed here by perceptual constructions and learning constructs and then the outputs would be produced so here under perpetual constructs we will be seeing stimulus ambiguity attention and then perpetual bias these all will be having some information flow and this again perpetual constructs would be followed by this learning constructs the learning constructs include confidence intention attitude motives choice criteria brand comprehension and at these all we will be getting satisfaction so this learning constructs again it will be preceded by output where outputs will be having purchase intention attitude brand comprehension and then attention this will be moving from downward to upward like first attention then comes the brand comprehension and later it will be followed by attitude attitude will be followed by intention and the final intention will take place with in the form of purchase so these are the different criteria and variables which are part of this Howard Schiff model of buying behavior. Now let us see in detail these input variables. These variables act as a stimuli in the environment. Stimuli can be of significative, symbolic and social. Now what is the significative stimuli? These are those actual elements of brands which the buyer confronts where as symbolic stimuli are those which are used by marketers to represent their product in symbolic form and social stimuli are generated by social environments such as family friends groups etc so these all three kinds of stimuli are part of input variable then the other variable under this is output variables what is this output variables so these are which bias observable responses to stimulus input, they appear in sequence as below. Now, first comes the attention as we have seen. So, based on the importance of the bias in information intake, these attention would be created. Then, comprehension. The store of information the buyer has about the brand. So, here comprehension is what kind of information the buyer is already having in his mind about that particular brand under this comprehension it will be studied then comes attitude the bias evaluation of particular brands potential to satisfy his or her motives here we will be having our own perception about one uh, certain brands and we will be having certain satisfaction level towards the brand so if i will be going to if i'll buy some particular product of that brand we will be having uh, some kind of uh, potential uh, motives towards that brand. So this will inculcate us to build our, our 
at build up our attitude towards the brand then comes intention the brand which the buyer intends to buy the brand where the buyer will be showing his interest to buy that that comes with intention and then comes the purchase behavior so the act of actually purchasing which reflects the buyer's predisposition to buy as modified by any of the inhibitors so here actually the purchase will take place so the output variables flow will be from downward to upward in the diagram as we have seen the third variable which comes here is hypothetic variables now what are these hypothetic variables the model proposes a number of intervening variables which have been categorized into two major groups and the two major groups are perceptual perceptual and learning constructs so what is this perceptual constructs these includes sensitivity to information that is the degree to which the buyer regulates the stimulus information flow here what is the degree to which a buyer can control the flow of information that is been considered the perpetual bias it refers to distorting or altering the information if we are changing any kind of information according to our requirement so there comes the perpetual bias where we are altering the information we are changing the information so this is also one of the construct here then search for information so this involves actively seeking information on the brands or their characteristics so here we are concentrating on particular brands and what are the uh, uh, characteristics or features of these brands we will be searching information about those so this is another variable under howard chet model that is called as hypothetic variables and then comes exogenous variables now what is this exogenous variables these are list of a number of external variables list of number of external variables like these are external to the buyer which can significantly influence buyer decision these are not internal but they are external they are outside they are outside variables but these outside variables external variables will be influencing the buyer to make their decision make their buyer related decision so this is also one of the variable under this howard chet model so in our today's session we have discussed about what is this howard chet model and so we have seen in this howard chet model we have three levels of decision making extensive decision make sorry extensive problem solving limited problem solving and routinized response behavior and then we have so how how this model is been developed and what are the four components involved under this model four components is also called as variables so there are four variables under this model we have seen first comes input variables then output variables hypothetic variables and exogenous variables these are the important four variables which are involved under this model and we have seen a pictorial representation of the model and what are the different constructs and stimuli involved under this model what is the flow of information and how this feedback effects have been considered this we have learned here so in detail we have seen input variables and what it includes like significative symbolic and social stimulus these are the part of input variable then comes output variable the output variable will be having attention comprehension attitude intention and purchase behavior and after that another variable under this is hypothetic variables these are again considered as uh, these are again categorized under two major groups that are perceptual and learning construct then we have exogenous variables these are external variables but they influence the buyer in making their buying decision 
So in our today's class, we have discussed forward shed model of consumer buying behavior. I hope you guys have understood. Thank you. Thanks for listening. Thank you. Thank you so much.